Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefined Horizons. And this is the second video that I'm doing to show you guys how we handle callouts on a land title survey. So if you remember from the first video, callouts are labels we put on features that are within five feet of the property line or that cross the property line. <clears throat> Last video, I, I went ahead and showed you how we go through our uh, oblique aerial photos that we take with our UAV. I just made some notes here, some things that I want to check. Uh, you can see, uh, that, so we have a drawing that, that we do specifically for the callouts. It's got the UAV orthophotography in it. Uh, it's got the property line here in magenta. And then it's got five foot offsets that just make it a little easier. So you don't have to constantly be pulling dimensions. And uh, then these are these are the callouts that we already had. Um, and then these callouts just get copied over to the actual land title survey drawing. But what I want to do now is, is go through this list and just make sure that that we've gotten everything. And we kind of started here at the uh, southeast corner of the parcel and went around clockwise. That's how we flew it with the UAV. So I'm going to just do the same thing, follow that same path, starting point path. Um, if my CAD looks a little different uh, for you AutoCAD users, it's because I'm using BricsCAD. Uh, I've been using it for a few weeks now. I really like it. So we're making the switch at, at my shop from AutoCAD Civil 3D over to BricsCAD and Carlson Survey, and so far we're really happy. So anyways, that's my, my CAD might look a little different than you're accustomed to. So we're just going to go ahead and start here at the, uh, the southeast corner, and then you'll notice the first thing I say is, hey, um, I've got some overhead electric power uh, transmission lines within five feet, and I can actually see those. Um, I can actually see those here. And um, it could be a little tricky to do this on the UAV ortho uh, if you don't have practice. And um, it also, um, depending on what you're doing, you, you may want hard shots on some of these features with a total station. So, and that's just, it's going to depend on the circumstances and, and what exactly you're doing. Um, and it, it also uh, can help to have your can also help to have your uh, UAV orthophotos up when your your oblique I'm sorry your your UAV oblique aerial photos up when you do this. So um, as you as you if you remember if you watched the first video, I've got this line of poles that's that's well outside of the five feet buffer here. But there are also some poles that are inside the five feet buffer buffer. And so what I find is helpful is uh, let's go ahead and pull up those those photos and uh, we can just make sure that we're not missing any. So we've got one right here kind of in between these tanks and the fence corner so let's go find that one. Alright so here's the tanks and the fence corner and it's a little hard to see because it's kind of being blocked by this dimension but uh, it's right here and you can see the base of the pole right there is within the five foot. So we are going to uh, we're going to copy this. We gotta make some room for it because of the scale that we're working at. I'm just going to use the copy command. For whatever reason, I'm having a hard time with that copy command. And we're going to add this to this uh, multi-liter here. Okay. And uh, we're going to drag this down. Get it close there. Okay. And then uh, we'll just go ahead and pull in a line dimension. Uh, you know what? I'm having trouble with my CAD because it, it's choking because I'm running that screen recording software. So I'll actually measure that dimension. But what I'm going to just say here is overhead, overhead utility pole. And then what we like to do is we, we need to give a rough dimension either. Is it inside or outside of that property line? So I'll, I'll come back and fill that in after my screen recording software's done. Okay, so we got that one. And then I just move along here to make sure I'm not missing any. Okay, so my next one's kind of down across from this uh, hydrant here. So let's go find that. So here's my hydrant, my yellow post on my hydrant. So I know I've got a pole. Let me look at that photo again. 
should be just across and slightly to the west. Yeah, I'm having a hard time seeing it here. So sometimes you have to go back and get a hard shot on this stuff. Uh, there's that little patch of concrete. I might be able to see that. Sometimes too, you can go back into the raw, the raw images from your UAV and pick that out. I'm just trying to see how far is it from the start of that ditch. So there's my ditch. It should be about right in here. Yep, I'm having a hard time picking that out. So we might have to get a hard shot on that one or go back into our uh, our photogrammetry project and tag that in the point cloud. Oop, so I'm going to just copy this guy and we know that that power pole is, let's see where's that guy at, that'll be right in here. Just check one more time and see if I can, yeah I sure just, I sure can't see it. Uh, just the way that photography turned out. Okay, so we're going to have to pull a point for that off the point cloud in the photogrammetry software. Okay, so I can't do a dimension on that one either. Okay, so let's make sure we don't have any more. I think I think that was it. Nope. Yep. Alright, we got one down by this tree. I think I might have been looking at the wrong hydrants too, so let's check this out. This is kind of a little bit tricky down here because this, this site essentially repeats. So let's move this guy. So I gotta come down to where my other hydrants are. Alright, so you can kind of see the ghosting there, and I've got that utility pole called out, okay, so there's one there, and then, yeah, there's still that one there that we're missing. So we're going to just have to go in and pull those out of the point cloud, it's just too hard to see in the ortho. Okay, and then the other thing I noted here is uh, we've got a... We've got a monitoring well. Let's make sure we grab that. I think I forgot that. So there was a monitoring well over here. So you can see that well right there. That needs a call out, right? And that might require that we move this dimension a little bit. So let's move that over there. I'm just going to do a couple more of these with you guys since my CAD software is having such a hard, hard time. Okay, so we got that wells right here. Okay, so we're gonna say this is a monitoring well, and then we need to. When my screen recording software is not running, I'll be able to get that dimension. And this is not in; this is out. So it's outside of the property line, right? And then the other thing I noted here. On this south boundary is uh, we've got a hole in the fence with some footpaths, so some unauthorized access. It's the kind of things a title insurance company might care about. And so there's a couple spots where that uh, where that happens, and you can it's pretty clear to see where those footpaths come through. Here's another one of our power poles, and you can see I've already called it out there, but I did not call out this footpath and hole in the fence. 
So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to just put that right there, and I'm going to say, and I'm not going to put a uh, dimension on this because it's actually crossing the property line. So I'm going to say hole in chain link fence and footpath crossing boundary. Okay. And we've actually got a couple more of those. I'm going to copy this. Got another one of those guys. Where's that? Right here. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a footpath coming in. There's a footpath coming in right here. There's a hole in the fence there. And I think we've got one more. I think it's right here by this bush. Let's go look at our obliques. So there's one there at the tree. Ooh. There's one here at this tree. So I think we got them both. Those were where the two holes were cut in. So I'm going to just do one more because I, I know I'm almost I'm past my 10 minutes here. So uh, there's a fence here that joins the fence on the subject property, so I want to note that. Okay, so uh, right here is where that fence comes in. Okay, so we're going to say the joiner fence joins Subject parcel fence from the it's coming from the west. Just make a note of that there. Okay, so we got that fence coming in here. And um, you remember I told you I was a little bit worried about that V ditch in my other video, but it looks like it's out the five foot buffer buffer, so we don't have to worry about that. This uh, two track road is also well without well outside of the five foot buffer, but. That's why it's nice to put this uh, UAV ortho background on the land title survey because then, you know, for some reason the, the title company wanted to know how close this was and they were worried about it, we could tell them. All right, so I'm sorry my cat's been so clunky, guys. Um, it, it's uh, it's getting, my cat doesn't like this screen recording software running at the same time. It's just too heavy for this computer. So anyways, that'll give you a rough idea how we, uh, we take these notes from our oblique UAV ortho photos and make sure that we have all the right call-outs in our drawing, which is really important. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed these two videos, and uh, sorry, there goes my phone. I might uh, add one more video and uh, just show you guys how we, how we uh, put these in the final land title survey. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it.